Creating desktop shortcuts is an easy and efficient way to access files and folders in your Google Drive. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can create shortcuts to specific documents and folders, as well as a neat trick for creating links that will open a blank new Google Doc slide or sheet with just one click. We'll start in Windows, then I'll demonstrate the process on a Mac, and finally in iOS. As always, you'll find time tags below to skip ahead, so let's get started. There are two ways you can create a link to specific files in Google Drive. In fact, the method I'll demonstrate here can be used to link to any web page that you wish to create a link for. If you have the document, spreadsheet or slide presentation open, click on the ellipsis icon in the top right corner, choose more tools and select create shortcut. Give your shortcut a name and then click create. The alternative way is even easier. Simply drag the URL to the desktop like so. This will work for documents, spreadsheets, slide presentations, and any file in your Google Drive. However, you will need to be signed in to Google. If you're not signed in, you'll be prompted to do so. You'll notice that by default, Windows gives the shortcut the same icon as Chrome or the internet browser you're using. You can change this by downloading an alternative icon from sites such as iconfinder.com. If I browse to Icon Finder and search for Google, I can download icons for Google Docs and Google Sheets in the ICO file format. Having downloaded the icons, simply right click on the shortcut, select Properties, choose Change Icon, and browse to the file you downloaded. And there we go. It's the same process if you wish to create a shortcut to a folder. Simply open the folder, and when in the folder, but before opening a document, drag the URL to the desktop. You'll also find alternative icons are already installed on your computer, which you can use rather than downloading new ones. I'll use this one to represent links to folders. Google recently introduced URLs for creating new files. If you open your browser and type https colon forward slash forward slash document dot new, this will create a new blank Google Doc. Again, you need to be signed in to Google for this to work. You can also use sheet.new to create a blank spreadsheet and slide.new to create a new slide presentation. To create this as a shortcut, right click on the desktop, choose new shortcut and type in the URL, https colon forward slash forward slash document dot new. Give it a name and if you wish, you can once again replace the icon. It's a similar scenario on Mac. To create a desktop shortcut to a specific document or folder, simply open the file or folder and drag the URL to the desktop. Again, if you wish to change the icon, find a suitable alternative at iconfinder.com and this time choose the ICNS file type. Open your downloads folder in Finder and then view the properties of your shortcut by right clicking and selecting Get Info. To replace the icon, click on it once so it's highlighted in blue and then drop your replacement icon over the top like so. And there we have it, I have a quick link to my resume. It's exactly the same process for folders. Open up the folder from Google Drive, drag the link and change the icon if you want to. Unlike in Windows, I don't think it's possible to edit the URL of a shortcut or alias on Mac, so I don't think that we can create links to blank Google Docs and spreadsheets similar to as I demonstrated on Windows. But if I'm wrong about that, please let me know in the comments section below. Instead, however, we can create them as bookmarks in the browser address bar. To do this, I'll type in the URL and click on the star icon to save it. I'm using Google Chrome's browser, but it should work just the same in Safari. Give the link a name, I'll call mine new Google Doc, and then click on more. Google gives each new document a unique URL, so to get around this, we need to replace that URL with the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash document dot new address. And there we have it. If I click on the link, we are taken straight into a new document. To create one for spreadsheet, simply copy the existing link and then edit the copy, replacing the URL with sheet dot new. 
Give your new link an appropriate name and away you go. For iOS, things are a bit different. You can create a home screen link to a specific document by opening the document in Safari, clicking on the share icon and choosing add to home screen. However, this means you're using Google Docs through Safari instead of using the dedicated Google Docs app, which offers a better user experience and is probably just as quick. The same is true for creating new Google Docs, Sheets and Slides. You're probably much better off just using the dedicated app from the Apple App Store. So that is how to create desktop shortcuts for Google's productivity suite. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free. So I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.